Hello everybody. Today is Friday, May the 22nd, 2015. My name is Michael from Global FX Club and this is the Elliott Wave Outlook for the week ahead. Uh, just before uh, moving forward, uh, please if you could uh, pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. All right, so jumping right into um, the swing of things, there are no open trades. Our most recent trade was the um, euro dollar. Um, close out for slight profit. We are basically flat on the month. Um, watching a couple of different um, trade setups and etc. Okay, so members, if you want to just sign in, you can look at the different groups: the U.S. dollar group, the yen group, the commodity group. See our viewpoints where we are eyeing in the market and um, again this will be updated um, about once or twice a day um, but if you have any requests don't hesitate to Skype us at Global Effects Club or email us at info at Global Effects Club dot com alright so jumping right into again the swing of things we have a couple of interesting trade setups okay um, one um, being the this is the Aussie dollar okay and actually I'm going to tighten up this chart for you so you guys can see the pair and everything else okay so this is the Aussie dollar on the one hour time frame if I um, expand it the four hour time frame what we'll see is that Okay, we have basically um, halted downside thus far. Okay, um, and then we have a clear descending trend line, all right? Not too uh, far away. And though downside still can be ruled out from this level, it's a big time level, from my opinion. Um, finding horizontal support. There is some momentum divergence calling for this um, setback, but just in my opinion, I don't rule out a slight bounce higher uh, before resumption to the downside. The market tends not to go in one exact way. And if we have somewhere near 80 50, that'll be ideal. That'll put um, into perspective an interesting head and shoulders um, issue here. But as long as we stay below this trend line resistance, downside cannot and should not be ruled out. All right. Um, meanwhile, Kiwi Dollar's counterpart on an hourly time frame. If um, it did break some key um, support, now finding resistance. Um, ideally, I like shorts somewhere near 73.50. That would be the um, equal measured move. All right. Um, so keep a close eye on that. And interesting, though, the reason why we keep a look into the top side is on the euro dollar, right? We had a short term breakout, and now we are ideally eyeing that 120 marker before lower. If we look at the euro dollar on the four hour time frame, okay, um, ideally the same path, but it could pull back a little bit, okay? And when we pull back, it could drop down into that um, one. 11060 11070 marker uh, before pushing higher pound dollar could do something similar except it could have uh, more of a sell off towards 15515 okay if you look at pound dollar on the hourly time frame right just for clear side is halted stopped at the 618 fib and the 123 so don't rule out a push to the downside on the pound dollar and if that obviously if that happens then so will the um your dollar another interesting setup is the dollar cad right the dollar cad now preferred is down towards 12150 all right 12150 that would be the measured move um and we ideally like this level even down towards 12095 um for the resumption back to the top side, then we have some trend line resistance at 122.20. Okay, so ideally, first is 
that 121.50 area, only a break above 122.40 will open up the top side, in my opinion. Um, on the shorter time frames, even if you look at the Kiwi, for example, on the 15 minute time frame, okay, what we'll see is that WX here, we had the W parentheses, X parentheses down towards the 123. And now we look for the same move higher, 7350. And that's where we're coming up with that 7350 area, which is also ideally a back test for the Kiwi dollar. And if that pushes higher, then we expect dollar cat to drop down a little bit more. You're talking about 30, 40 pips about um, some uh, trend line support. Also, that measured move, 100% move. Then ideally, your dollar heads higher towards trend line resistance at 120 about. Pound dollar should be interesting. Is It could either go sideways or pull back or just thrust out and hit that 157.36. This is ideally a better sell zone. The 161 extension, also the 76 fib, and so far we're finding support at that 100% fib. All right. So ideally, we like this move higher before a pullback. Kiwi, Aussie, pound, um, euro to do the same thing along with the dollar cat. Away from that, um, dollar yen. In the same path, okay, looking for 120.60, that's about 40 pips lower. We also have some clear trend line support on the, on the dollar yen. So that pullback measures up with everything else that we are ideally seeing in the market before, in my opinion, the resumption to the top side of the US dollar and the dollar Singapore dollar, which typically I like to gauge. Um, so far, finding some resistance on the hourly, okay. Um, similar action as a dollar cad, like the lower levels for longs to continue to the top side. Don't rule out. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see. It's gonna be interesting to see how the market plays out, the majors, because if the dollar Singapore dollar stays in this congested zone, but at the same time and more importantly stays above one thirty three forty, um, continuation higher towards new highs even towards 134.70 could play out and extend um that extension here is that 123 marker um and the bigger move towards this area okay um the 100 percent area for the dollar singapore dollar actually let's look for that first right the reason why i say let's look for that first this is an hourly chart is there'll be deeper divergence and that sell-off could come from here before um bigger moves Okay, so I like this um, for the dollar sing and ideally the dollar and the other majors should uh, follow suit. So watch out for that. And again, if it stays um, in this congested area while the overall market moves, that will bode well for uh, the overall picture. All right, guys, thanks for watching the LE Wave Outlook price action outlook for the week ahead again uh feel free to um sign up sign in look at the different groups we tend to update it once or twice a day with updates especially in a shorter time frames um looking to have precision on some um entries cheers and good luck trading